Hello guys, it's Shitkin Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. See! And today is actually quite of a sunny day, so I'm recording outside in, uh, in my new garden and of course you can actually hear a lot more noise than in my previous home, in my parents' home, because of course, for example, I have here the chickens. They're always quack, quack, and so on. Uh, I have uh, the backyard there as well. Well, I have not, this is kind of the front yard. I have the backyard as well. And we have cars passing through. We have chainsaws, we have everything here. And that's why I don't record as much uh, as I did outside in my parents' home because of the noise itself. And like today's sponsor, that's everything but noise. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. As for this video, we have the NVIDIA drivers test, where as you've most likely been seeing across the internet from the, for the past couple of days, uh, the NVIDIA app is making your performance decrease with the NVIDIA drivers. The NVIDIA app is now official, and as soon as you enable the NVIDIA app compared to the GeForce experience or the control panel only, you have lower FPS. And in case you guys don't know, I tested that some months ago when the NVIDIA app was just beta. I tested it and it did have a performance decrease. But after a couple of months, I retested it and the performance decrease was fixed. And it seems that now since it passed to the, um, to the official version like in these drivers, I believe it was in these specific drivers, it still has the, the issue of losing performance and it seems that the performance has to do with the overlays or the game filters or basically everything mixed together. And I'm not here just to give you some benchmarks like everyone did, I'm also here to give you some input and one of the things that I noticed was that my system was unstable, crashing constantly for example in Path of Exile and some other games and I even set everything to stock and the system was still crashing until I uninstalled the NVIDIA app. As soon as I uninstalled the NVIDIA app, the games just stopped crashing. And this was kind of making me sick because I had the 7900 XTX in the system before. I had it, uh, my 9800X 3D actually had a way higher curve optimizer setup, um, or in this case, way lower, like minus 15 or something. And it was working perfectly for hours and hours straight. And as soon as I changed, to the 4080 Super, I started having these issues, especially with the NVIDIA app. So I uninstalled the NVIDIA app and everything just went back to normal. So yeah. So for these benchmarks, I'm gonna test the NVIDIA drivers with a control panel only, basically no NVIDIA app whatsoever. Then with the NVIDIA app installed and then with the NVIDIA app, but with the overlay disabled, which people are telling is the problem. So let's see how they perform. Our first game is Assetto Corsa, and it is funny to see that we did lose some FPS at both resolutions with the NVIDIA app, with it being around 11% slower at 1080p and 8% slower at 1440p, this of course compared to the NVIDIA drivers without the NVIDIA app. It seems that the biggest issue with the, is with the overlay or the filters I guess, because as soon as we disable them, we have the performance jumping basically to the numbers that we have without the NVIDIA app. Still with lower 1% lows, of course, especially at 1080p. As for Cyberpunk 2077, the results are actually off. It seems that the control panel did not only give us worse overall performance here, as the best performer was the NVIDIA app without the overlay, which is honestly quite odd and outside of the margin of error, I would say. At 1440p ultra wide, the results get more stabilized, with the NVIDIA app now delivering lower average FPS, but in a CPU bound scenario like 1080p, the app does seem fairly well, or seems to do fairly well, I guess. Silent Hill 2 is another mess with the traversal stutters every single damn time, and that can actually contribute to the different results, especially at higher FPS numbers. And that is why we see at 1080p the NVIDIA app delivering less FPS than the control panel only. Not by that much, honestly, but delivering 13% higher, 1% lows. But then we have the app without the overlay, delivering slightly higher averages, but lower 1% lows. At least at 1440p ultra wide, the results are much more stable, with the NVIDIA app without overlay and control panel only being virtually the same. 
And now we have yet another odd scenario. And take in consideration that I tested this several times. And yet, the results at 1080p with the control panel only were always worse in terms of 1% lows, with some odd stutters that were constantly happening even when I was standing still, leading to the lower 1% lows you see here at 1080p. Although at this same resolution the NVIDIA app does deliver less FPS, even if we disable the overlay, in this case being up to 8% slower. At 1440p ultra wide the overlay does match the results of the control panel only, but the app fully activated does deliver around 9% lower performance. I guess this might be a Witcher thing. And the same exact issue that we saw before happens with Counter-Strike 2. Somehow, where the control panel only delivers around the same average FPS inside the margin of error, more or less, but way lower 1% lows again. Way lower. Because of those little constant stutters that we saw in The Witcher 3, they also happen in Counter-Strike 2. Things that didn't happen when we installed the app. I don't really know why. And I did install the app after testing the control panel only, so I went back and retested it, and the results were exactly the same. Really odd. In Call of Duty Black Ops 6, we finally have some decently scaled benchmarks. At 1080p, we have the NVIDIA app without the overlay being virtually on par with the control panel only, but as soon as we enable the overlay, we get a performance dec decrease of 8% at 1080p, sorry, and 6% at 1440p ultra wide, which again is quite a bummer. Alan Wake 2 was tested in the Lake House DLC, and the NVIDIA app still loses a bit of performance. But this time it is quite meaningless, especially if you're hovering around the 60 average FPS mark. It seems the differences are more noticeable in the CPU bond scenarios with higher FPS numbers, but again, little differences here. As for Fortnite, it was the only game where the results were very consistent at 1080p, with a slightly lower 1% lows result with the app and no overlay, which is something that can happen I guess, but at 1440p ultra wide, Although little, the difference was there and was constant, with the control panel delivering the best results here. Again, there's basically no difference, but it is there. As for Black Myth Wukong, we have the NVIDIA app again delivering less FPS unless you disable the overlay, in this case 6% less performance at 1080p and 8% less performance at 1440p ultra wide. Which is nothing game breaking I must say, but again, the difference exists and is there. And in terms of averages, we sadly have the control panel only, delivering only around 3% more performance. But we have way lower results in the 1% lows, and that happens due to some games, especially Counter-Strike 2, having some stutters without the NVIDIA app installed. Why that happens, I don't really know. But overall, unless you have issues, I advise you to keep the NVIDIA app installed of course, and simply disable the whole overlay if you don't need it. Or, if you do, disable the game filters and photo mode option in the overlay as well, because it seems that this setting in specific uh, is the culprit of, of the performance decrease. In most cases, not every case, but in most cases, the game filters and photo mode disabled can actually deliver some more performance. And well guys, as you saw, the performance decrease was real and is real. I tested on the 4080 Super because there were some other channels that tested on kind of lower tier cards like the 4070 Super, like the 4070, even older cards like the 3080. So I wanted to test with the 4080 Super just to give you some more data apart from the data that we already have with several other cards, of course. And even with the 4080 Super and the 9800X3D, a system as powerful as this one, we still have issues. And the NVIDIA app, in some case scenarios, does decrease the performance a lot. So games like Assetto Corsa, for example, where the NVIDIA app, even with the overlay disabled, brings lower 1% lows. And there are some outliers, like Counter-Strike 2, things that you most likely weren't expecting. Um, where the Counter-Strike 2 game actually works better in terms of smoothness, so way higher 1% lows, with the NVIDIA app. It is way better to just install the NVIDIA app and disable the overlay. I don't know how this happens, I retested it several times and I still had the same results, with the 1% lows somehow being way lower with the NVIDIA app, with <laughs> damn, damn dog, with the NVIDIA app uninstalled, while with the NVIDIA app installed it just worked fine.
So my general advice, guys, is if you're having issues like I was having, crashing and so on, well, in that case scenario, just uninstall the NVIDIA app and see if everything goes okay. If everything just goes well, it seems that you are having the same issue that I was having with the NVIDIA app causing the crush, the crushes, <laughs> causing the crashes. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're just having lower FPS, keep the NVIDIA app installed and disable the overlay instead, or the game filters option that you also have on the NVIDIA overlay. You don't really need to disable the overlay all by, by itself, just disable the, the game filters and so on. And if that actually fixes your issues, just let it be, because in most scenarios it might not really be the, the NVIDIA app itself, but only the overlay decreasing the performance. And now the chickens, because I opened the chickens before, they're like flying and shit. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you have uh, really good holidays, a Merry Christmas for you all, and see you in the next video, I guess. I believe that the next video will be before Christmas, so yeah, I guess we'll see you there. Thank you very much once again, and see you in the next one. Nin? Nin? <laughs> Bye.